This week we'll be introducing our rover. Desk Buddy's come a long way since his first iteration, but we still don't have a robot that can move around reliably. So this week, we put together this little rover. First, we had to figure out what to power it with. The stepper motor is pretty slow, but it would work. This servo only goes 180 degrees, so what it ended up doing was getting a continuous servo. To make sure I had things the right size, I printed out the servo mount. Looks like it's a good fit. The wheel design is two angled gears next to each other. I've got this part to fit the servo mount, and I plug the servo right here in the back. It's a bit wobbly, but for this iteration, this will work great. All right, let's get the rest of the rover printed. Print three more wheels and a body to hold the servos and the Raspberry Pi that will be used to power the whole thing. Here you can see now that it's assembled. We've got the four servos connected to the body and all the wheels. For this project, I'm gonna be using a Raspberry Pi. Now that it's all put together, I just need to write a little bit of code to get this thing driving around. First, I'll SSH into the Raspberry Pi. Like in previous videos, I'll be using ROS to control the robot. In my rover package, I have different scripts to control the rover. It can turn left and right and move forward and backwards. I have each of my nodes running to control the robot. If I type B for backwards 2, it'll go backwards 2 rotations. And if I send F to, it'll go forward two rotations. Okay, maybe I don't have the rotations coded correctly, but let's try some other things. Spin to the right. Spin to the left. Seems to be working pretty well. I took the rover outside and first tried some grass. It gets stuck a couple times, uh, but you know, it, it kind of chugs along. Now I'll take it on some rocks. It gets stuck so much. This little guy's got to get a lot bigger. If you want to stay up to date with the robot projects, like and subscribe. Hacker Twins out.